I love the quote we find in today's lesson. As Christians, we do not check our brains at the door of the church. Admittedly, some of the most brilliant minds and intelligent people I know, well, they're Christians. Personally, I think it has something to do with the blessings and the benefit of studying God's Word. There's just something about Bible study that increases human intelligence. Now, don't miss the lesson's point. Human intelligence can never add to or increase the Word of God. Again, I love what Pastor Finley writes. Truth is not a matter of human opinion. Now, this is a strong word in a world where right now, at least in North America, people live, well, by their own truth. A world in which feelings and personal opinion are the only truth that some people live by. A world in which if you dare to question a person's feelings and opinions is viewed upon as, well, hatred. And yet, truth doesn't care about feelings and opinions. It only cares about what is in fact true. You see, the mountain that is truth will never bend to the wind that is public opinion. Well, meaning the Bible doesn't change for people. The Bible changes people. And it can do this because truth affects what we believe and our beliefs determine, well, how we behave. And Satan knows this, which is why he is a master at deception. Think about what deception is for a moment. Deception is the art of causing people to believe that a lie is the truth. You see, the reason somebody lies to you is because they're trying to deceive you into doing something you wouldn't do, well, if you knew the truth. Change what a person believes, and you can change their behavior. This is why Martin Lloyd-Jones once wrote, If we go astray in our doctrine, eventually our life will go astray as well. You cannot separate what a man believes from what he is. For this reason, doctrine is vitally important. This is the point of this week's lesson. Light in the form of sound doctrine is our best defense against the darkness of Satan's lies. And that was our nugget for today. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you tomorrow.